Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn work panel in After Effects. Hi friends, in our previous videos, we are already learned about the project panel, timeline panel, composition panel and tool panel. Now in this video, we are going to learn about a work panel. So this is our work panel. Now in some cases, you can't see your work panel over here. Then just go to Windows, Workspace and select all panels. Okay, so you can see your work panel over here. Now in some cases, you can also save your workspace by your name. So just go to the workspace and here you can see save as a new workspace. Okay, so you can just type any of your name, um, ABC and I'm just saving it. So in future, if your workspace is not looking properly, so you can uh, uh, set its default as your name. So I already save as a work panel so my work panel workspace is appear over here so guys first we are going to see this info now what is this info it will be showing what color pointer is going like for example my mouse pointer is over here so what color it is it is black so it will be showing the RGB color so if I am moving here now you can see the color of this uh, is RGB value also it will be showing an X and Y value so my X value here you can see as well as Y value so from in this po composition where is my X value of mouse pointer and Y value so next is audio now as you can see I can't uh, do any changes in the audio because my footage don't have audio you can see I, I there is a audio button is not visible so for that I am just importing one footage just drag and drop now as you guys can see now I can change my audio okay so these are the audio panel I'm just reading for right now so guys next is libraries now if you click this you can see creative cloud libraries are available from within the libraries panel and the start screen the library panel is visible in the default workspace standard workspace and all workspace it is docked on the right side of this workplace here you can see your so there are three different ways to open this library panel you can go to windows and here workspace in this workspace you can select these libraries or else you can go to file and here you can go to import and from libraries and third way is go to windows and here you can see libraries so these are a three different ways to activate libraries next we are going to see characters now this is a very important in Adobe After Effect so for that first of all I am creating one text so in text layer I am writing Rushi Kumar Panchal a B C X Y Z one two three okay I'm just putting in the center so guys first of all this is a font set of font so if I want to change this font I'm just selecting from this so as you can see a different font is changing okay I'm just putting like this Oh uh, no, let me change uh, differently. Okay, this one is nice. Okay, uh, next is color. From here, you can change the text color. So, as you can see, I can change a different color to this text. Okay, for now, I'm just putting on white now what is this this is a stroke color so we are going to learn so first of all I am putting the stroke color to black so once we are going to the stroke I will show you how to apply the stroke okay now next is set the leading for example if I want a space between this text so I'm just increasing so as you can see the space between this text are increasing okay for now I'm just putting like this now after that is uh, set the tracking for the selected character now if I want the space between this particular Rushi word I'm just selecting 
these word and increasing the size so if I am increasing this value then as you can see the space between these words are increasing so these are the use of this property now next is set the stroke within now as I already told you how to apply the stroke I am just selecting this text layer and now increasing the stroke value so guys as you can see my stroke is increasing for now I'm just putting uh, it okay so as you can see stroke now in the stroke there are uh, two properties fill over stroke and stroke over fill means fill over stroke means the stroke applying over the text as you can see outside the text and if I'm putting stroke over fill then it will be fill inside the text or now I'm just putting fill over the stroke now next is property is uh, vertical scale now if I want to scale my text layer vertically then I'm just increasing the value so as you can see my text is vertically scale okay and the next is same horizontally scale so my text is horizontally scale now guys I also want to tell you can also select a particular text and you can scale or horizontally scale okay so you can also apply these on particular word or even a particular text so if I only want this my R to be a scale vertically then you can just click on this and scale it so everything is possible you just have to work on it just uh, change the value and see what happen okay so guys next is this set the baseline shift now uh, I want this R little bit up so I'm just selecting this R and increasing the value so as you can see from this particular text only is R is going up or is R is going down okay uh, after that there are different properties like this is making your text bold okay now it is make you italic now this is all caps now as you can see there are a uh, first letter is capital only now if you want all letters capital then just click on this all caps so all letters are become capital okay after that is a small caps for making a small caps now these two are very important okay so first of all I am just uh, set properly I'm making this diff size smaller okay so what these tools are doing for example uh, there is a text I am adding a2 plus b2 plus c2 just making space okay now I if you doing a mathematical formula and if you want to write a square plus b square plus c square now how these two is going on square so it is very easy just selecting this two and here you can see a superscript superscript and subscript superscript for square I am just clicking on this so it is become a square same as b square same as selecting two and press this b square so it's very easy if I want this two to down on subscript then just click on this and press subscript so it will be going to on subscript so guys these are the characters this is a very important just to go through one by one practice on it and you will be master on it so guys next is effect and presets now these are this is also very important okay so here all the effects and presets are loaded over here okay for example if you want to animate this text then just select this text layer okay for example I just want to text animation I am typing text over here so these are different different text in this text you can see 3d text expressions mechanical and too many text for example I am just selecting this 3d text okay and just drag and drop to my text layer so as you can see yeah it's magic so this animation is done by default these presets and effects are given by the Adobe After Effect by default okay now I'm applying other animation like uh, in and out just click on this spiral apply on this 
so as you can see animation is done if you want a colorful effect then there is an fill and stroke just drag and drop flicker effect yeah the DJ kind of effect now uh, you don't have to just drag and drop if you also want to apply just double click on it then it will also apply on the text okay like this you can do a different different animation with this I am mean doing like curves and spin just double click on it and it will be applied like this there are uh, too many effect and presets in this panel which we are going to learn in our upcoming videos okay now for now I am just control Z next is align now as it is showing it is align the text align left align horizontally align right align top align vertically and align bottom so if I want my text align left then just click on this so as you can see the, my text is going to align left same align horizontally and align right okay now if I want my word is starting from here like Rushi Kumar Panchal ABC XYZ all text are starting from the left side so for that you have to go to paragraph in paragraph it will be by default center text that's why all my text in a center way if I'm clicking on the left align then as you can see all my text is left align same you can see center as well as right align okay so these are the paragraph panel after that I'm just putting on center again and next we are going to learn preview now here I can set my space with the space I can see just my preview okay now next is play video in preview as you can see whenever I'm playing space my preview is started and I can also see the video in the composition panel now if I'm switch it off then I cannot do anything because the preview button is off I'm just switching out again and as you can see my video is in composition panel is started again next is this this is a play audio in preview now while showing the preview I don't want to listen the audio then just switch it off so you can't listen the audio now after that is a play from work arrange play from right now whenever I'm click space my animation my uh, in a timeline panel uh, this current indicator starting from the same position okay if I am on 10 second if I'm playing space starting from the 10 second only but if I am changing to the start of the range so wherever my indicator is is always starting from the zero okay so I am again putting on current time so after that there is a frame rate you can also change the frame rate according to the preview okay right now my frame rate 29.97 next is skip okay if I am putting on zero so you can see my animation is going very smoothly okay if I am putting the five frame so as you can see it will be skip the frames so what is the use of this skip frames so in many cases your project is very heavy and you want to work fast so what you are doing you are just skip the frame and also reduce the resolution so now my project is running faster so you can also change the resolution from here if I am putting like again this as you can see it will be going very smoothly and also the quality is very good now if I am putting the quarter quality then whenever I'm playing space the quality is down but it's running so fast my preview is faster so main thing is we have to done this work fast so after that there are a tracker which we are going to learn in our upcoming videos because these are separate videos on the tracker so guys that's all about a work panel thank you so much in the next video we are going to learn about a shape layer thank you